How you doing guys? It's a for Tech with my new YouTube channel because my old one was closed for nothing. Okay, and I decided uh, not to upload more illegal uploads. No hacks, no cracks, no, no any free activations. Everything is illegal. Okay, and now I'm showing you how to create a web view application with Android Studio. So create a new project, put your application name and your company domain, which which will the, which will be a part of the package name as you see here, and click next. Choose the choose the phone and tablet, then choose your Android version that your app will support. I choose 2.3.3 gigabyte. Next, now choose a blank activity and next. And now keep it as it is. Finish. <coughs> you must only wait while building your application. And I will be eating a chocolate bar. Okay, here's your app is built, and as you see, I will forget to full screen. Okay, then uh, it's be like here, no problem. Yes. Okay. So as you see here, first I change to next five. You can keep it. You can choose any any device you want, but I like the next five. So first, as you see, there's Hello World text widget here. Delete it. And now let's start building our application. Our application. Okay. First, uh, you can go to my website for the codes. So you don't need to just type it, just copy and paste it. <laughs> Link is in, in the, is in the description. So the first step is create a new project. So we did that. New activity, choose a blank activity and finish. Now we need to, these don't, okay. You adding the web view element, we can add it by this code. Just copy this code, copy, and go to activity main text and add this code just above the relative. Uh, relative and tag so this code must be added as you see okay now we must go to we must go to the main activity and add this here under the public main activity and as you see this arrow appear just click alt plus enter again alt plus enter alt plus enter and here it is resolved and also we must add this under onCreate method where is onCreate method here it is and under it as you see okay here we're done now what we must do is ignore these ignore these um, okay now we must enable JavaScript so what you have to enable JavaScript just copy this code 
to the onCreate method. Where well, onCreate method? Here it is. As you see, onCreate. So paste it. Control V. Here it is. As you see, this appears again. So Alt plus Enter. Change. Alt plus Enter and no error. So after we enable JavaScript, now we need to load our remote URL that your that which will be viewed on your application before this we must request the internet permission to request enter permission copy this code to main fist here it is main fist copy this code after here after the application end tag and before the uh, main fist end tag as you see okay Okay, now after we enabled, we requested the internet permission, we need to load the URL. Now we will copy this code to <coughs> onCreate method again. Okay, here it is onCreate method and here replace it with your own URL. My URL will be rod for tech dot blogspot.com okay now our application is ready you can test it now but I'll test it when I'm at the end okay here is our application is now ready with web view as you see and this can view your URL but sometimes and most of the times when you open your application the URL, the URL will, will open in your browser, not in your application. So what we we'll must do is handle navigation. So you must add this code <coughs> to to the onCreate method. Main Java and onCreate method. It is uh, this error is then okay. Now, as we handled navigation, scroll down here. It is. Now we after we did that your application will be ready and your URL will open in your web view application but if you press the back button wherever you are you will exit your application so how to get that just by handling the Android back button what you must do is uh, is adding this code under the onCreate method under it not to the onCreate method so hit it the onCreate method here we add it okay and here we're done the application is now ready and you can build your application generate signed apk So first put your password, confirm it, your allies, password, confirm it, validity is first and last name, right, okay, and you can keep everything else empty, so I will put more for tag 2, okay.
as you see generate signed apk my apk is generated successfully and now i'll be on my nexus 5 to show you that this application is working perfectly let's go